as promised, it's Friday and that means that Mark's been to the charity shop and he's picked me up a whole lot of stuff. This time I'm going to do it in two parts just so it's not like crazy, crazy, crazy long. So I literally don't, I've looked at the stuff really, really quickly, didn't really have a good look. I thought we could look at it together and yeah, I'll show you what I got. The first things I got were the, I'm going to film it right after each other so if you want to watch one and then you can watch the other one it should be like up straight the neck on this is weird sorry fidgety um yeah so i'm going to film them straight after each other so you can watch them i just didn't want to make it too long and then you would be bored so anyway i'll start with this the first thing he got me is this tea he also got me the coffee one and the sugar one and they're just little glass well tea coffee and sugar jar type things it's just got a little lid like this but i already have tea coffee and sugar jars so i don't think i'm going to use them for this but when i saw them I, they kind of looked like to me they just screamed halloween kind of specimen jars i don't know i absolutely love halloween and i love doing like weird decorating projects with this so i think i might put some eyeballs not obviously not real eyeballs i'm not i'm not crazy well bit crazy but not that kind of crazy not the bad kind of crazy anyway yeah i thought i would do something like this for halloween and these i tried to take them off and yet they, with a little bit of force these bits will come off and i can put whatever other label i want on there so yeah i think i might use them for halloween i'm actually on the lookout for a sort of big glass jar thing just plain glass and i just want to fill it with odd things of interest like just weird random stuff i thought i could maybe do it with this but i think this might be too small so that was a long time to talk about, yeah, a tea urn jar thing. Anyway, moving on. Next thing he got me was for the, I'm doing that thing with the fluff again, with the throw in my bed. I really need to get rid of it. Anyway, um, yeah, the next thing he got me are just these tie backs. They are in a sort of gold metally type colour. He got me two of these. I forgot to tell you the prices. The price of the jars were £1.50 for all of them. Some of the clothes and stuff don't have the prices on them. It kind of told me roughly what they were. They're anywhere between 60 pence and 1.99. If they have the prices on them, I'll tell you what they are. If not, they're literally between 60 pence and 1.99. And he said most of the stuff was like 60 pence or a pound. And I think there's only a couple of things that were 1.99. Anyway, these were 50 pence for the two of them. And they just, the boxes, they like obviously haven't been used, but the boxes are a bit kind of beat up and whatever. That's probably why they're so cheap. But there's nothing wrong with the actual tie backs themselves. They just look like this, like a sort of leafy pattern type thing. Yeah, just look like this. Most of the accents in my house are gold. I kind of mix gold with silver. Does anybody else do that? I know some people are like just gold or just silver. I like to mix it, but I do find that quite most of my stuff, I think, is gold. Anyway, I'm in a rambly chatty type mood. Anyway, so the next thing he got me is these Hugo Boss Deep Red. One is a shower gel and one is a body lotion. I don't really wear perfume, but when I did, I usually wear like body sprays or body mists. But when I did wear perfume, this was pretty much the only, this and Cool Waters, I think, was like the only perfume I would wear. It's still, oh, I still love the smell of it. It smells, oh, I've just got it all over my furry bed throw thing. Oh, it smells so good. It's not over as overpowering as like perfume would be because I, I just find that I get headachey kind of thing when I wear perfume. I just don't like it. It's too heavy for me. But this I can get the I can still smell of the perfume kind of smell, but without the headachey heaviness. So yep, I will use them. And the next thing he got me is clothing item. This was this got the label on it and it was a pound. And this is from Zara and it is a size small. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this all at once. It's like a really thick, thick material and I think it's lined. Yes, it's all, it's got like a undercoat thing. I'll try and show this as best I can. It looks like this on the top and then on the bottom it's sort of slightly pleated. Like I said, it's a really heavy material. I think it will come quite a bit below your knees. It's like a sort of, let me show you, like a sort of, it's got sort of silvery grey running through it. It's almost like a kind of tweedy type material. I thought it would be really nice, a little white blouse underneath or something. I thought that would be really nice. Definitely more a wintery type, autumn type thing because of the weight of it. And the next thing he got me, I'm just, these are no order. I'm just pulling these out randomly. And like I said, I've only really quickly looked at the stuff. This again was a pound. 
and this is, I think you call it a sari, Indian ladies wear them and I think they're absolutely, absolutely beautiful, they are so gorgeous, this doesn't have the like little trousers to go underneath, it's just the sort of dress and it's got a slit up the side like this, it's a sort of maroony kind of colour, wine kind of colour I think, and this is the detail around the neck and it also has that detail on the little sleeves as well. I just thought this was really nice. I'm going to wear it with a pair of like black leggings or something underneath it. So there's that. Maybe it's not called a sari. I hope I'm not offending anybody by saying that. I, think, I can't remember. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm sorry. Anyway, next thing is this very bright red. This is from Zara. And wait, I'll see the price on it. Yes, this was also a pound. And it's got that kind of muscle back thing at the back. I keep calling it that. Is, is it actually called that? I don't know. It's got this sort of layered effect on the front and it's just a really light cotton sort of, it's a bit sort of fancier than a plain vest top but it's still comfy and soft and casual kind of looking but just like a little bit more than just your sort of plain vest top. And the next thing he got me was this. This is from Next, and this was also a pound. I haven't washed all this stuff. He literally isn't even in long and I'm just showing you. Uh, as I'm getting it, I hate these things. I'll cut these, you know, the things to hang them. I'll cut them out. When I think, about it. hold on, I'll tuck them in so I can show you. It looks like this. It's one of those tops that sort of cuts in here like this. It's got a sort of brown, shiny type, flowery, almost paisley kind of looking pattern on it. And it's got like little bits of sequins through it, so it just shimmers a little bit. And the pattern comes round to the back but not all the way around the back just sort of on one side of the back a bit unusual and it's got two little buttons here and a little peep pole thing there yeah there's that that would be nice for the summer and there's this I saw this I think it's nice but I don't know I I think I might give this to my mum I can see my mum wearing this more than I could see me wearing this this is from quiz and it's like I'll show you the material first. It's like this grey kind of jumpery type material. It kind of looks like it's faded but it's not. It's like meant to look like that. It's got a giant, it's a dress. It has got a giant like sort of round neck, giant butterfly on it. Butterflies all around the bottom and if you turn it round there's butterflies on the bottom and a big huge one on the back and the, yeah it's just it is nice, I just don't, I don't love it, put it that way, I don't love it, so I think I might give it to mum, because I think she will love it. And the next thing he got me, I'll just quickly show you, is a little handbag. This is, he didn't realise, he got this for a pound, he said it was in like some sort of pound bucket thing, it had a little rummage and he thought this was cute. It is cute, he didn't realise it was missing the shoulder strap and I checked inside and it's not there. But yeah, it's just, it is a cute little bag and this the leather on it here is navy blue, it just has this little handle and this bit here is like a sort of, it's almost pinky, silvery kind of snake skin look. I don't know the brand, it's called Superbia, Superbia, wait and I'll show you in case I'm pronouncing it wrong, yeah, Superbia I think it is. Yeah, it's kind of cute, just opens like that, hold on, got a little zip, it's just got your usual kind of zip pocket and two slip pockets on the inside, it's got a sort of browny tan kind of flowery inside line into it and it's got a little zip pouch on the back and yeah it's kind of cute I would rather it had the shoulder strap I don't really like having to hold a bag like that I like to have the option I mean you couldn't even well, I suppose you could kind of use it in a, no not really you'd have to hold it like this and I think that would get annoying I might use it a couple of times and then maybe pass it on or put it back into the charity shop or whatever so the next thing he got me, this is also going to go to my mum because he didn't realise this has got a yellow tag on it and I think he said the things with the, oh yeah, yeah I said that was a pound didn't I, yes. He said the things with the yellow tag I think were 60 pence so this is only 60 pence. It's just this pretty little kind of wrap over kind of, it's not actually wrap over, it's just made to look like it's wrap over but it's not. It's just a kind of floaty purpley pink kind of flowery top it's very pretty it's got almost a sort of shabby chic type look to it but it is in a semi size 10 but it's petite it's from m and co i'm not petite and i do have quite a long body 
I'm five foot six, I thought my mum is five foot two, so she is petite, so I think she will really like that and it'll fit her better than it'll fit me. The next thing he got me is this jumper. It's just a basic kind of, it's from Per Una, I think that's Marks and Spencers. It's a size medium and it's just this comfy sort of slouchy type jumper. It's got a sort of slightly pleated neck. It's just, yeah, just a plain kind of, I think three quarter line sleeves. Just plain, good to throw on with your jeans, wear with anything kind of jumper. And the next thing he got me was this. This was, oh I didn't tell you the price of it. See if I don't tell you the prices, they were somewhere between 60 pence and like I said 199 but most of the stuff wasn't as high as 199 The next thing is this. It's got long sleeves, it's got a sort of kind of weird pattern on it like this and it also has this weird detail oh that's went a bit wonky something's went wrong oh yeah sorry there we go it's got this kind of half circle kind of ring thing in the front and it sits on your neckline like that so it's just a little bit it's just like a sort of bouncy really stretchy comfy top but just a little bit more unusual because it's got the little detail on the front I kind of like this. I think it would be easy to throw on and comfy and yeah, I like it. The next thing he got me was this. This is by the brand Blue Vanilla. I have never heard of this. This uh, looks like this. It's just a really sheer sleeveless black blouse. It's got a little collar on it. Uh, can that button up more? No, that's as far up as the buttons go. And on the shoulders not sleeves because i just said it was sleeveless i'm away with the fairies anyway this yeah it's just got some sort of sequency and some stud details there just to i think this is nice it's like really cute with a little sort of vest off underneath it that'd be nice for the summer and the next thing is i don't know why, why did i say it like that the next thing i'm sorry Anyway, okay, where are you from? This is from Fat Face. This is a size 10 and it's just a sort of casual kind of, I don't know if it, yeah, this is a blouse, right? That's not a skirt. You can wear that. Uh, not a skirt, a dress. No, I don't think this would be a dress. I'm pretty sure it's like a sort of long top thing. It's purple. It's pretty plain. It's just got some little buttons at the top. Yeah, just plain flowy. It's got a belt in the back and yeah. I like that. I like pretty much all the stuff he got me. Some of it is better than other stuff, but he did pretty well. I mean, he did pretty well. He always does well. He always picks me stuff that I like. This kind of looks like jammies to me. Like, you know, like it's got the blue and white stripe in it and it reminds me of like, I don't know, pyjamas. But I don't think it is pyjamas. This is from, where are you, H&M. And uh, yeah, it just like looks like a sort of jammy top. Yeah, I'm going to wear that in the summer and I'll look like I'm wearing my pyjamas. It's got a little belt in the back and, oh, this has got a tag on it. So this was a pound. So there's that. And the next thing, I told you there was a lot of stuff. And this is literally, I'm just showing you half of the stuff. I've not like counted it out and it's exactly half in each segment. But yeah, this is only half the stuff. You see why I have to split it into two different videos. This is also from H&M. It's an extra small and it is just, this is really, really soft cottony. It looks like this at the top. It's got a little sort of flouncy, flouncy is, yeah, that's a word, right? Flouncy, flouncy sleeves. It's got a little flouncy sleeves at the shoulder. It's sort of bouncy and soft. You know what I mean when I say bouncy? Like, you know that material and it's just, does that make sense? Maybe only in my head? I don't know. Anyway, it's stretchy at the, top part like that and yep I just think I will get a lot of wear out of this you can just chuck it on and be comfy I really like stuff that you can be comfy in and the next thing is this this looks kind of plain but it's really nice this was a pound and this is where are we where are you from this is from River Island and it's just kind of at first I th thought it was just a plain sort of black vest top but it's got the sort of drapey neckline I'm sure there's probably a word for that but I don't know what it is oh this is bouncy as well anyway yeah drapey neckline and it's just really 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 soft it's a sort of almost kind of silky material but yeah 
I think that's nice, be nice for a little cardigan or something. You could really dress this up or wear it really, really casual with a pair of jeans or whatever. Next thing he got me is from Dunn's and this doesn't have a price tag on it, but like I said, it's probably about a pound. And it's this kind of minty green blouse type thing. It doesn't have a collar. It's yeah, it's got lace sort of detail. Actually, the lace is really, really pretty. Can you see it up close? Look, sort of lace flowers and lace detail. This is nice. This also kind of looks a little type, not like jammies, but like a necklace type thing when you see it just from the top half. Anyway, people are going to be like, oh, what's that crazy lady doing out in her jammies? But I don't care. Anyway, it comes down like this and yeah, ties like that. So, yep, that's that. Next thing is, this is made of swimsuit material, I think. This is a size 10 and do you know what I mean by like the swimsuit material? That kind of stretchy, lycra silky, oh there's a little mark on this. Like I said, I have it's only a little bit of fluff. I haven't washed it. This is from Miss Selfridge. This was a pound and it's got neon yellow round the collar, round the sort of sleeve area and round the bottom it's yeah it's super soft swimsuit material and the very last thing i really don't know what he was thinking with this like these are short these are some short shorts it's like a little play suit this is from uh, is it moto from top shop and yeah they like this on the top it's like a sort of black washed like sort of washed out almost gray kind of denim like this but check how short the shorts are and as if they're not short enough just at the front they go up at the sides i don't know that i'm going to wear i maybe would wear them if i was like on holiday or something but i don't know that i would be able to wear them i think my butt would be hanging out the bottom of them maybe if i had a butt don't have a butt don't want people to see my no butt i'm going to stop saying butt so anyway yes that was this half of the haul done i'm going to film part two of the haul straight away so if you want to see more then you can watch that and if not i'll see you later and thanks so much for watching bye